We'll see DeAndre George up against Andrew a little bit later in the game. Our test got to get out of the paint as he fell down. And Gasol gives the Lakers an early lead. Uh, Powell did a real good job from beyond the arc as it came and touch it. No. Mo uh, Williams with the basket on the nice drive and penetration. But again, that's after a score, they get a layup with only one defender back. They are forcing the issue. Our task almost turns it over. Because saw the long two. 11 6 Lakers. Sapaga Saul hit for a low percentage last game, uncharacteristically so. But he's hit his first two tonight over the first three minutes. Blake Griffin. That's the shot right there. When he gets that on, a, I mean, as a first thought all the time, what are you going to do with him? Because he's got such good first step, he's going to get by you, and then when he gets into the paint, it's all over. Plenty of time on the shot clock for Gasol to read. And right over Griffin, three for three. Man, 13-7 thanks to six early points by Pau Gasol. Came in usually money from there. He was real short the first time. And this time, he takes advantage of it. A wide open 16, 17 footer. Mo Williams is doing an excellent job of pushing it up the floor and making the Lakers collapse their defense and then finding people around the perimeter. Pagasol, same spot, same result. Right over Blake Griffin. I said 50, so maybe he's trying to get 50. Out of bounds belongs to the Lakers on the spin. Williams gives it away. So the Lakers by five. As they have not missed yet, they're seven of seven from the field. And the uh, Clips have only missed one as Powell knocks down his fourth consecutive shot. Well, Williams saw the kick out for Randy Boyd. And Fish ready. Lamar was there as well. So Cody's got nine early points. And Bob Gasol, he's got one miss. He's not perfect, but pretty close. Uh, he's, he's five of six. He is in a real nice zone right now. You can see how he's uh, just confidently taking the shot, not waiting too long now. When you take it in a hurry like that, you feel good about yourself. And he takes it away. On the lead, Kobe up against Goals. And protected it and got the foul. So free throws for Kobe with the Lakers threatening to run away and hide early. Well, run away maybe, but I don't know about hide because, you know, these leads go in the NBA as the Phoenix Suns, as the Lakers led by 21, and all of a sudden they're heading into overtime. But I had a chance to review the footwork of Kobe Bryant on that's That is a pancake on the free good run out by our test. Now Lamar against his old team. Leading it off. Beautiful. What a pass. The no look. How to solve. What a finish. Oh, Lamar. I mean, Lamar. Set it up perfectly. <laughs> That's 10 straight by the Lakers. Oh, what a play by Lamar. Over the left shoulder of the month, not the day. That's just beautiful. Over the shoulder. DeAndre Jordan says, where'd it go? Powell says, here it is. Watch it go through the net. Mo Williams back on the floor along with Blake Griffin. Aminu, Eric Gordon. Great ice. Nice. Blake Griffin got by him on the position. You talk about little. talk about footwork. That's what you do to shot blockers too. Show them the ball once in a while. Just a little up fake. Five point game. Closest the Clippers have been in some time as game of nice and out of bounds. 15 left on the clock. 637 in the half. And back to Griffin is his footwork. Yeah, he just a little up fake and gets Andrew to bite and just hammers one and brings the Clippers to within five. Eric Gordon, their leading scorer, but Blake Griffin, 22 points. Leading rebounder with 12 boards. Those are his averages. And this is first full season of the league. And on the reverse, Shannon Brown with it up. <laughs> Saw him sizing that up. Well, he put that in the lead hook and he finished it, didn't he? <laughs> wow. He couldn't believe that nobody was really tracking him. And now a timeout for the Clippers. Boy, he goes on one side and then just hammers one. And that was so exciting. The Clippers want to talk it over. They say, hey, let's take a timeout. Maybe we can see it again on the big scoreboard. Shannon Brown showing off some of that athleticism. 14. Ron Artest. Good luck. Pagasol keeping it live, taking it away. Fred shot clock for Artest. And he'll go with the reverse dunk. Take a look at that, Shannon Brown. <laughs> Oh, that's exactly what he was looking at. He entertained. 
once he develops a jump shot, how good he could be. A consistent jump shot, at least. And believe me, he's going to develop it, too. He's taken away. That was Blake Griffin. Look at Denied this. Four him. on one. And right. A real quick touch. Griffin! Boy, they left it off, and I thought maybe one too many. But a slingshot from behind by Griffin. Never one too many for Griffin. Three-point game. You saw can't pick it up to five, but Cody takes it away. He'll get it done. Lakers by five, 47-42. Kind of a score saw it. Didn't get the triple. But good recognition by the other guard. So two minutes remaining in the half. It'll be Gasol set up by Kobe. Boy, he's power on tonight. He is now seven of nine from the field. Yeah, well, it barely got there. Griffin with a head of steam. Look out below. And going to the line, he'll shoot two. As he's taken down by Ron Artest and not happy with the developments. So free throws for Blake Griffin. Well, in transition, Blake does a good job of changing direction there on Artest, and Artest has no chance of making a play. He's got that little bump. Kobe had 18 the last time in the third. The first game could have gone either way. And that's what Derek Fisher wanted with that runner at the buzzer. Gasol held up. Griffin sends him to the line to shoot two. Griffin fouled out. Don't forget, two games ago. And he fouled out on an offensive charge on one of the wildest dunks you could ever see <laughs> but nobody on him well you talk about a, a guy that plays to the crowd <laughs> he takes it away and it goes right to griffin but blocked by gasol and now the foul wow how couldn't Powell hold on to that one ron artest taps it away it goes right to Powell basically and uh, he couldn't get his hands on it. he's looking at the ball looking at it and what happened pal <laughs> And now missing two free throws. God, they've got to take the hitch out of his free throw. And he's got a hitch there. The Lakers still with a nice cushion of nine. After the triple by our test and a foul by Kamen from behind. Clippers out of fouls. So more free throws. The way he brings it back over Steve Blake. 71 63 22 points for William. He is single handling almost well give Blake some credit. He's got 16 But he Mo Williams is having himself quite a game And there's only one of the guy close to double figures with eight and that's Chris Kamen Well, we got a timeout still five and a half to go here in the third and the Lakers up 71 63 Eight point game. Let's see if the Lakers can pick it up over the last five minutes of the third Pass and Andrew with a great setup. That was an automatic turnover. Blake Griffin got the worst of it, though. He's still bent over. He got a shot to the face. And had the edge. They've outscored the Clippers 19 to 9 at the free throw line. Lexo. And I understand it didn't look good for Craig Smith. The blocker is up with one of his own and denied by Bob Gasol. I, I like that play though by Powell. Yeah. Don't Not, give it up easy. I don't like the fact that he gave up the offensive rebound, but then he challenges a high fly. And especially when Memphis, who's right behind him, lost at Chicago. So they're two up for the seventh seed in the loss column right now with 31 losses. Memphis has 33. Now for the Lakers to come through at this end of the floor. Long dry spells. DeAndre George blocking it away. Five of the shot clock for Powell Gasol. He's got to go up again. And an air ball produced by DeAndre Jordan. You can't be slow motion and show the ball to DeAndre Jordan, that's for sure. 783 reach on Derek Fisher. And that's the 13 foul. So the Lakers running out of team fouls too early here in the fourth. It was locked up before King. And a little step through, set it up perfectly. DeAndre Jordan changed his mind, didn't he? It's an assist instead of a shot for Kobe. A good recognition by Kobe. Now Randy Boyd. Yeah. The ball to foul on Powell. He thought he had tied the ball up earlier. Yeah, but did he start at the elbow or wrist to get to the basketball? The official that made the call was behind Powell. I don't know if he had a clear view of it, but Powell's there. He reaches in. And Hand, hand, or wrist, wrist. Uh, I think that's a good call. Yeah, it looked like he, the hands are part of the ball. Here's two of the four coming from the bench. Boy and Aminu. Not 
much scoring from the bench for the Lakers tonight. Besides Lamar Odom's nine. Powell. Right by DeAndre Jordan. Wow. He was tangled up early, but got away. Yeah, turned the ball over. And then he was ready for a film session with him. Teaching session, yeah. Telling him how to do things. <laughs> Kobe over Chris Kamen. Yes. 101-93, Lakers. A little breathing room, and I say a little, as Vinny Del Negro calls a timeout. And Kobe, the game's leading scorer with 31, knocks down the corner jumper after the turnover. Kobe says, you're going to pay. You better get to me. Up. Oh, you're too late. Griffin Campbell. Power with Andrew. It took a while to get there, didn't it? Travel. Yep. And... He changed his pivot foot. Vinny yeah. Del Negro really upset. See what happens when you gamble, though? Blake Griffin went for the steal at the, up above the free throw line, missed it. His momentum carried him out of the play. Kyle throws it to Andrew, and the Lakers get a much-needed hoop, as Andrew may have mistimed his jump, but gets the hoop, and the Lakers lead by seven. Time the Lakers out on Oh, Williams using some shot clock. Eric Gordon quiet all night, and he's going to the line looking for the three-point play. He could make it very interesting. The one thing that you didn't want to have happen was a three-point basket or a three-point play, uh, because you keep them at three possession as a two or three possession game. Now, uh, this is a definitely a two possession game if he makes this hoop. I mean, this fish inside of ten of the shot clock and on the run. Nobody's there, but blocked away the recovery by DeAndre Jordan. That was fast. Here comes Blake Griffin. Our test picks up clean. Now the Lakers should use some clock. Fish will. Big time play by one of the great pickpockets and defenders in the game and a foul by the Clippers, Derek Fisher. Well, I tell you, that was some play by our test again. Blake Griffin in an open court picks up the, uh, the dribble, trying to take it up over the top. And our test reaches in, hits the ball, controls the ball. Goes the other direction. Now free throws coming with 35 seconds to play. Fish to shoot two. Two free throws. Not giving up three-point baskets, but knowing the Lakers, they do that quite a bit. Ooh. It looked like. Who tipped it in? Yeah, it looked like Andrew with the ball in the cylinder. It was between Andrew and Brett. Yeah, that was either offensive right. interference or defensive right. interference. Because the ball was still up over the cylinder, and Andrew might have celebrated into the opposite end of the floor. And so second chance points up. Two rare and misses. That's not a reviewable play, I don't think. As Fish misses the free throw, it's up there, it's up there, it's still there. That is offensive <laughs> interference. Phoenix 2, while the Lakers take on New Orleans. New Orleans, a huge road win tonight. But the Lakers took care of it. Anxious moments in the second half and, and struggles offensively, too. Let's face it, for the Lakers in the second half, despite the fact they scored 112. Yeah, and they ended up both teams at 50%, but the, uh, the Clippers made it interesting in the second half. The Lakers were not nearly as efficient after draw, getting that 16 point lead in the first quarter, but again, the bottom line, they got the W, and that's 